Tonight, a grandmother and Anne are behind bars and are supposed to remain there for the rest of their lives for starving a four-year-old boy to death. Janice Mowdy and her daughter Stephanie Bell took a plea deal of capital murder to avoid the death penalty. Here they are in court today, and they are wearing bulletproof vests. The judge sentenced them to life in prison without parole for the murder of four-year-old Austin Watkins. He wasn't even five years old yet, but he weighed only 19 pounds. 16 WAPT's Catherine Kite was in the courtroom today in Scott County. Janice Mowdy and Stephanie Bell stood here before a judge today, both showing little or no emotion at all. And the biggest question raised by the judge, why didn't they take little Austin to the doctor? His life depended entirely upon the two of you and no one else. There's no other person that uh, provided anything for a little fellow four years old. And you took his life just as deliberate as an if it was a one-stroke thing. A person does not starve to death in a few hours or a few days. And you knew that he was dying. No question about that. The boy died a heinous death. You're both responsible for that death. After those words to Stephanie Janice Mowdy and Stephanie Bell, the judge sentenced them to life in prison life without in prison. parole. The two Stephanie pled guilty to the murder of Austin Watkins. An autopsy Stephanie showed the four-year-old died of starvation and dehydration. You saw his health, his physical condition deteriorating, did you not? The two women claimed they fed Austin, but he had reflux and threw up his food. They told the judge they discussed taking the four-year-old to the doctor, but were too busy working on their chicken farm. Ms. Mowdy has a reading problem. She's got um, a 73 IQ. She only had a fifth grade education because she went to work at 10 and 11 years old. But a person knows when a child needs to go to the doctor. Uh, absolutely, and she has admitted that. She's accepted responsibility. The DA admits that lack of education was part of the reason he offered them a plea deal. He also worried that a trial could have ended with a much lesser sentence. I think they may have appeared as, as maybe somewhat uh, uneducated, poor, simple folks who, who did not intend for this to happen, but allowed it to happen. And I think that that work would work against us. Because Mowdy and Bell both took a guilty plea, neither will have to face a jury. They'll both spend life behind bars at the Department of Corrections without the possibility of parole. Reporting from Scott County, Catherine Kite, 16 WAPT News.